Well, good morning from New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Gutierrez. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. California's wave of storms is destroying roads and forcing people from their homes. Why the threat could remain for months even after the rain has stopped. Pressure builds on President Biden over the scandal involving documents marked classified. The questions from members of both parties. A failed Republican candidate is arrested for a series of shootings targeting elected Democrats in New Mexico. Our Scott McFarland joins us with the details. Plus, a Washington, D.C. school teacher and the cousin of a key figure in the Black Lives Matter movement dies after an encounter with LAPD, while his family is now demanding justice. And the popularity of electric vehicles is still rising. Anne Marie and I will speak with the president of General Motors about the shift in the EV market and how the company is looking to the future. I know, Anne Marie, you've been a big proponent of electric vehicles for quite some time. Yeah, and one of the things <laughs> they're going to be unveiling is their electric Corvette. And I got to tell Wait, you, no. yes. It is one sexy car, man. So I'm hoping we can get the deets on that. I mean, not that I can you know get I one. You know I got to but... have one. You know I got to have one. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> That's what I say about myself. Uh, but let's begin in California, uh, where evacuation orders remain in place for parts of the state after the latest storm slammed the region yesterday. Dozens have been killed since late December due to the extreme weather. Chris Van Cleve is in Ojai, California with the very latest. Chris, good morning.